somebody pointed this out, and it's true. We were playing, you know, one of the listeners sent us a CD of a band, and it was really bizarre music. It was called Z's. Yes. And uh, we couldn't figure out if it was even music. This is it, if you didn't hear it. <laughs> and then we got yelled at by the listeners, said, you don't know anything about music. The Z's are the head of the avant-garde music scene. And <laughs> this is the head of... Like, you don't understand avant-garde music. You mean there's music. stuff worse than this. <laughs> then we realized, remember Siobhan once uh, put out an album? Yes. We realized Siobhan wasn't that different. <laughs> like, like, listen, this is Siobhan. <laughs> I think Siobhan's is better. This is too much. Yeah, too much. It's got too much rhythm. Yeah. I remember when Siobhan wasn't this merch. I can I can appreciate Siobhan's music compared to this. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let me have a cup of coffee and smoke a cigarette while I'm wearing a beret. <laughs> Here, all right, who do you like better? That was Siobhan. Now here's the Z's. Some of the guys we work for are really illiterate. The word guard is spelled G-U-A-R-D, guys. Why did they write? G-A-R-D. <laughs> Avant-garde, G-A-R-D. <laughs> Who wrote that? I got to know. How actually, do you get through actually, school? Actually, they're not, not that far off. They forgot the E. Right. It's, Who wrote it's a different spelling? It's G-U-A-R-D. It's, it's, it's what? It's, it's G-E-A-R-D. No. But it's almost correct. It's no, not G-A-R-D. G-A-R-D. So who wrote G-A-R-D? No, it's G-A-R-D-E. I took the... I, Richard gave it to me. Uh, G A R D E. Nobody was right. attacking so, on it. Guard is G U A R D. Oh, in avant, but avant guard. avant guard is G A R D E. It's French. Yeah. It's French. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm an asshole too. That's right. Okay, I stand corrected. You're right. I'm an idiot. It's right. Avant garde is G A R D E with a little one of those fucked up things right. over, over the hyphen. E. Not, not a hyphen. No, no it doesn't have that accent. Uh, avant garde does have a hyphen. But yeah. it, but what's that? Doesn't have that little accent over it does the E. Not have I don't accent, see it on the no. thing that You're I'm looking at. You're thinking of a la carte. I'm thinking of umlaut, but that's German. <laughs> Avant garde. <laughs> yeah. See, if you put the accent, it would have uh, the E would be pronounced. Here I am goofing on a guy for the word guard, and he's closer in spelling well, it than I am. You're both wrong. <laughs> but I was being harsh. I was like, how do you get out of college not knowing guard? And meanwhile, <laughs> I got out of college. There was an avant in front of it. Saved yeah, him. Yeah. All right. I always wanted, uh, we have to edit that for the replay, so I always look smart. <laughs> I always wanted to add an umlaut over one of my letters just for no fucking reason. An know. umlaut? Yeah, an umlaut, right? <laughs> there is an umlaut in my name. Uh, over the W in Howard. <laughs> you didn't know that. I don't even have to tell people that. Howard. Uh, H-O-W umlaut, right. A-R-D. <laughs> umlaut over the W. It, it, it distinguishes me from Howard K. Stern. My yeah, umlaut. you have the umlaut in your name. <laughs> Anyway, so that is avant-garde music. Are we going to try to play our own shit at some point? Yeah, we're doing it Monday. Oh, okay. Well, I know we said we'd do it today, but Gary says, I don't know why it's be turning into such a thing. Just give me Fred's guitar, so get Gary's yeah, trumpet. just get a few, uh, well, we need a drum kit. Right. Are we going to get a rehearsal time? Or? You don't even need it. <laughs> why do you need <laughs> rehearsal those guys with sound this? Like they rehearsed? Whatever we play is fine. Yeah. Here, Fred, give me your guitar. Gary, yeah. get your trumpet. Here, I'll right. show you the bit. You don't even have to get a bunch of instruments. Just well, we just now. wanted to make a band. Man, fuck it. <laughs> it's too much work. <laughs> Did we agree? Like, oh, okay. So, you, but you sort of know how to play guitar. That's no, you, you need to know how to play something. Well, you know, no, you don't. Yeah. That music, you're really no, my you music don't. You're Gary, bring in your dumb trumpet. Warm up your lips. Get those lips in here, Because even though Gary knows, <laughs> he can't reach the notes. <laughs> oh, we got drums over there? No. You don't need drums. Are right, you ready? No. Get on that mic. Come on. D d I don't need any preparation. Can you give him a little echo, maybe? Maybe it sounds No, better. he doesn't need echo. Echo? Why are you trying to fix this? The worse, the better. No, it's Here's just, some of my avant-garde music. It's a soundscape. Music. We're trying to create a soundscape. We're just got a symbol. <laughs> Bully Armstrong. <laughs> and we got a... Uh, Artie, if you want, I got a bongo on its way in. A bongo? I'll give it a shot. What the there fuck? It does 
sound exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> Right, that's it. I feel, uh, I feel Richard's too good. I call that song Home. <laughs> I was going to say, what do you call that? Now my next song. <laughs> no, I want to hear Home again. You want to hear Home again? All right. Um, let's do Home one more time. Robin liked it. Ready? I know exact chord it starts on. I'll start it. The, uh, That's my favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's better live, too. You want to do a gig somewhere? <laughs> Why not? Well, you Imagine know that I... band is coming on tour in New York. We should open the up for them. They yeah. should open up for us. I would, I would open up for them. <laughs> I think next week they're playing at the Knitting Factory. Really? Dude, yeah. how, how many seats is that? Uh, Eleven. Not, it's not a small. Long. Artie's been there. Yeah. Uh, not many. It's a very small. It's venue. tiny, Howard. Yeah. It's, you know what how many, the, how the, many seat venue? If you're playing the knitting factory, it means you can't draw a crowd. <laughs> That's what it is. It I, I would hold, open for them. It you know what I would like to do? People. Why don't we go in and open, but like not make a whole big deal about it and see yeah. if the audience rejects us? Because there's no way. <laughs> yeah. How do you know what's good? In oh this? wait, is that the club where I introduced Scott? Yeah. Man? Yeah. Oh my God, it's like half of a basement. Why don't we just go up and do home, and then you know, and maybe one. Other selection. I would love to see that crowd if they like are into it. If they think yeah. it's really good, like I would. You guys might get a better reception than the Z's. You need one of those crazy <laughs> artistic names for the songs. We call this one the Burning Panther. Here's what it, we can't talk about this anymore because we should just go do it and tape it, right. yeah, and then see, you know see if we get applause or we get booed off the stage. Right. And we should wear masks because if they see you, they're going to think, right. oh, this is this a joke. A bit, yeah. If they don't know who it is, so you though. even go in disguise. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll you wear gotta like be a, like Buckethead. And Artie's Artie's yeah, right. I'm about gonna wear like a cool black mask, like a burka. You know what you should wear? <laughs> like one of those my uh, feed bags. With the eyes, <laughs> like a oh, that, I'll borrow that from Gary. <laughs> no, I do burka. You do beekeeper. I wear a beekeeper's mask. But Artie's I'll right. Wear the welding mask. Artie's right about it. Like that song that we play. You talk about the stupid titles. You know what the name of the song is that we play, Robin? What? It's called Woodworking. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's this right. one. Yeah. This one is woodworking. Woodworking. What the fuck does that mean? It's uh. <laughs> I can't believe these guys are working. <laughs> hey, uh, so we we, know, we, uh, we're what's the name of that music? place we're going to play? The Knitting, the knitting Factory. Factory. This one's called The Knitting Factory. <laughs> this is a new song, Robin. Can I start this one out, Howard? Yep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and you you gotta like you're playing regular chords. You gotta move your finger up one so it all sounds right, all weird. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Let's all right. get some this discordance is called, in here. I'll do a new song. This is called Beat. In honor of the beat. <laughs> 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 we got to do well, it. Well, Richard, as a musician, do you have any respect for that album? Uh, it would be hard to it would be hard to play that song, but to create it, I don't think would be hard. We are going to do it. Yeah, see, like, what you have now, you did something, trying to recreate it would yeah. be impossible. Yeah. That's the like, difficult even, part. Oh, we could recreate it. But that's art. 
We know yeah. what we're doing. I <laughs> could write down the chords. <laughs> I got to tell you, Gary's really good in that hole. Hey, he's, so. yeah. he's an avant-garde player. Mm-hmm. We didn't realize. He found his niche. Anybody who's shitty is avant-garde. <laughs> I realize avant-garde means shitty. But that's what I'm saying. If you're a bad comedian, you call yourself a performance artist. Right. That's true. <laughs> and if you're a bad Bubba, artist, you call yourself a modern booey, artist. Booey, right. <laughs> Bubba, booey, Bubba, booey, Bubba, booey, Bubba, booey, Bubba. Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba. Wow. So, Mr. Christie. Yes. You're finally able to lend your drumming abilities to uh, the losers. Even if it's like a weird version of them. In a small way. I wish I had a full drum kit, but a lot of people don't know there's a lot of tones on a cymbal. You got the bell, you can swirl. You can, and that's very avant-garde. It's very unorthodox, and I think it fit pretty good with the music. Now you're known for being a metal drummer. Is this a, a tough change for you? No, I like j- I practice jazz. I practice marching band. I practice funk. All kinds of music. So this is a good opportunity for me to branch out and show my other styles. Howard usually talks about big things with his bands, like with the Losers and sort of like almost gets to the point where he thinks he's going to take on the musical world. How yeah. far do you see this band going? Um, to Howard TV, and I think it stops there. You think he's going to lose steam in a little bit? Yeah. We'll be even lucky if this airs on Howard TV. <laughs> if you're watching this video, this is as far as this band is going. <laughs> well, it's cool you got your shot anyway. Thank you. So Gary, you finally sort of found a role in the losers, even if it's like a, a weird avant-garde version of them. Well, I always said avant-garde means people who don't care to learn an instrument, and since I forgot how to play mine, I was perfect for the band. Have you always desired to be a part of the losers? So you're a big music no, fan. No, no, no. Big... Listen, I had one great moment with the losers. I played with James Brown. He put his arm around me, gave me a couple of pointers, and that's fine for me. I don't see a, I don't see a trumpet uh, really being a part of the losers. How far do you see this band going? Howard sometimes seems to start up this loser talk like they're going to take over the world and I don't see it going very far at all it, it, it goes really far that Howard realizes we go to the knitting factory on a Tuesday night and that's where it ends so you think this this first practice session might be the end of this version of the that's loser. right I think it's I think it's we've gone as far as we can well it was it was wonderful while it lasted hey yeah you know what we got four songs out of it in, in three minutes that's good stuff by the way, on uh, Howard TV, we've edited together clips of Gary licking his teeth when he played the trumpet earlier today. <laughs> According to our records here, we've counted he licked his teeth about two dozen times in the course of under three minutes. Wow. They don't have that. I have it. I, I could play you a clip of it Let if you me want. See but that. this is for our fans who watch Howard TV. Okay. There he is. Here, put the, put the sound on. I don't know if there's sound. That song, Home. <laughs> Look, see, he's licking. <laughs> there he is licking. I would hope it for them. They pay the crowd if they, like, are into it. Oh, my goodness. That's tape of Gary licking his teeth. Oh, my goodness. It's a continuous loop of 30 seconds. In you fact, know, when you hear somebody say that, you can't believe it's funny, but wait till you see it. It's a great stocking stuffer. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Do you remember a couple of, uh, I guess it was about a week ago, that ass napkin Ed called in? Yes. <laughs> Everyone remember him? I'll, I'll refresh your memory. I was thinking about him the other day for some reason. Yeah, he's here and he's drunk. Oh. Ass napkin Ed was a guy who called in and like was asking me ass stuff, like how I clean my ass. And, and he said that he uses toilet paper you know, to always, make an, or what was He always it? uses a napkin in his ass. So that, Napkins are like the local quiz nose. Right. And, Ed, are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I take and I put a napkin back there. I call it my ass rag. Ass yeah. rag, just yeah. in case so I don't stain my underwear. You you wear an ass pond? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, but, That's a see, tampon yes, for your ass. Exactly. Wait, so what do you do? <laughs> I don't understand. What are you doing? I put an, a uh, like a napkin in my ass and I call it my ass rag. But wait a second. Why? When do you do that? After you take a dump? No, just all during the day. All really? during the day, you keep what, a you napkin. Leak? You keep a Jeez. napkin in your ass. So I don't stain my underwear. No wonder you're calling me. You won't stain your underwear if you do the regimen I do. Yeah, but like if it's itchy back there or something, I just. Yeah, That's because you left something behind. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're getting itchy because you're not doing the right thing. 
Could be fishers, too. Anyway, he's here. Uh, what he, do you think he looks like? Could be fishers, too. I don't know. He co- he collects SSI. He claims he hallucinates and hears voices. Yeah. And they say bad things about him. And then I was wondering, like, why are we having him here? <laughs> what if he looks like John <laughs> yeah, Stamos? Yeah, you read that and said... What am I thinking? I invited him in. You asked me what he looks like. What if he, what if he looks like Stamos? Then I you... would try to see through his illness. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your ass napkin head. Hi, you guys. Doing? I'm just here to show my ass napkin. I'm ass napkin head, and uh, I'm just down here to show you my fucking ass napkin. Cool. That's a pretty cool trick. Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? You seem like you're a big fan of the show. Well, yeah. I, I've been on for about 20 years. Uh, do you want to see my fucking ass napkin? You look at my fucking ass napkin. It's as simple as that. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, man. All right, I can't wait to see you inside. I can't wait to see me inside, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, he doesn't look like Stamos, I can tell you that. No, right. he doesn't. Ass napkin Ed, what's happening? But he's not bad looking. Not a bad looking guy. I'm a big Bills fan. And he's got his ass ragged. Was that a Giants thing? I met you already, already. Oh, good. What'd you say? I met Artie Artie. Where? Uh, some sign and stuff. Oh, in what? Buffalo? Howard, he's so drunk he can barely talk. Mm. Ask Napkin Ed what happened. You got nervous? Put down the jacket. You, you got so nervous coming here, you drank a lot? Yeah, I was nervous, yeah. Yeah. Where you? But I, I drink all, all the time anyway. Oh, do you? You don't yeah, have a job. Yeah, that's how he takes care of his illness. He doesn't <clears> take his medication anymore. You don't take medication anymore? I was on Haldol. And I was on uh, Zyprexa. And then you stopped Ooh. taking it? Mm. Huh? And then you stopped taking it? Yeah, and I got a fucking twitch. Yeah, you got a twitch of some kind going on there, right, Ass Napkin Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. You, do you have your rag ass in? Ass yeah, rag. yeah. Ass rag? Yeah. Let me see it. Oh, oh come on, man. Let me see your ass rag. Oh, it's got shit on it. Oh. oh, it does, really? Oh. Yeah. Why? Want I don't want to what see do you mean it's got shit on it? I thought I you said... <laughs> He okay. shits in a bucket. How oh. can he have the proper, you know? Do you ha- did you have an accident on the way here? No, no, it was fucking itchy. Mm. <laughs> can I make a recommendation to you? Because you did call me and you wanted You're my help. You're gonna make a recommendation. Yeah. I had the same problem you did. My, I know, man. My ass was really itchy. I know. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, if you just got some baby wipes, I got a fucking baby wipes, man. <laughs> I love how when wait, people wait. are drunk, they talk higher. Are you? Uh, what, what ethnic group are you? I'm white. You're white, but you're acting like a brother. No, no he's not. He's I'm going, not. come on, man. Yeah, you know what he sounds like? A little Me- Mexican. Yeah, he's looking like yeah. a Hispanic dude. Are, you sound like a crazy Mexican. No. I'm are not. you, uh, did I meet you at a signing in Buffalo? Yes, you did, sir. God, you know what? You do look How the fuck familiar. do you remember this? No, you do look very familiar. Because when me. people meet you. I can't you, believe you remember this. Because, that. Ed, when people meet you, they, they get don't really, forget, really yeah. frightened and they remember you. <laughs> How the hell do you, them. this weird that Because I love It's you, like man. two years ago or something. Because, uh, you're my type of guy, buddy. <laughs> It's really weird. Like when you called in, we felt compelled to meet you. Now I remember why. Because it was just so strange, you know, like our whole conversation. You know what I I'm saying? I don't know, man. Yeah. So when did you get to town? Ta- Where do you live again? In Buffalo. In Buffalo. And when did you come into town? When did you come to New York City? I just got off the bus. Just ah. just this morning? Yeah, yeah. About an hour ago, I got off the Greyhound bus. No kidding. I can't believe he has serious, and some people tell me they can't get it. Yeah. I mean, you can't afford it. <laughs> And ass napkin Ed, you don't have a job, you're on SSI. I'm on SSI, yeah. Is that because of your mental problems? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You think he could work somewhere? <laughs> and what are your mental problems again? I got paranoid and schizophrenic. You're paranoid and schizophrenic. Now how does it what does that mean? Para- you like what happens that, to you? Yeah, no. What what happens to you? Like paranoid and I got schizophrenic. <laughs> yeah. I think I remember. Didn't Ed, didn't you say that you hear voices sometimes? Yeah, yeah. Baba, well, where the fuck is Baba Boy? You're hearing on? his voice. There's a voice you don't. <laughs> and what happened? You always think people, the radio is talking to you. Oh yeah, I hear it. a lot. I hear you. You do? Yeah, but yeah. that's supposed to be there. Yeah, me is supposed no, to be No, no, I hear him when he's not on there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's and bad. I was hearing him, and then I hear about my boy. You know. It's funny, I hear my parents when I'm uh, <laughs> not around them. So you, like, you'll be walking around during the day, and all of a sudden you'll hear me and Robin? Oh, absolutely. And what do we say to you? Like, what are we telling you? You're just talking shit. Like what? 
Like, get the fuck out of here. You know, everything like that, man. Mm. No, we really said that. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is everybody? Oh, but you yeah. know that we're not really there, right? I mean, you know, or you think we are there. I think you are there. Huh? Oh. I don't know, man. So then what do you do? You drink a lot of alcohol to drown oh, out the voices? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when you I've been drinking the whole fucking time. You drink on the bus? Yeah. yeah. Now, how do you carry the booze on the bus? I just put it right in the, this bag right here. What kind of booze were you drinking? Wine. Red <laughs> wine. wine. Red wine. Red wine. Very yeah. sophisticated. <laughs> You're that <laughs> fucked up on red wine? <laughs> what <laughs> year is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what vintage Screw cap talking? or cork? <laughs> Shit, it's $10 a box. $10, Ten a, a box? box. Yeah. yeah. Wine comes in a box? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, did you ever see that? They have boxes. You can get box wine in a wine. box. Yeah. No kidding. And it gets you wasted. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yeah. So, uh, are your parents worried that you're drinking too much? Nah. They don't yeah. care. They, do they ever come They've and visit you? They dropped you, you huh? Mm. Mm, no. No. Do you ever see them? Oh, I got the mother. And she, she don't care. She lives in the same building. Oh, she, she lives does. in the same building and you don't see her? I see her sometimes. I don't, I don't, I but, don't know. I see her sometimes. Yeah, but she doesn't care about you? She, she sometimes, yeah, I see her sometimes. All right, let me talk to you about your problem because that's why I brought you down here. Okay. You're going to give him advice. Well, about his ass napkin. I feel bad for the guy. <laughs> you're saying right now you're... Can I do a contest, man? Well, what wait, wait, contest? Wait, 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 what do you mean a contest? It's like some win the money or something. Oh, win some money. Uh, Gary, you got any money? Because I just give the guys. I, I do, I do. So what? I'll be in. He uh, just blew some money getting here. We'll we'll come up with a contest, and make it <laughs> easy. Right, so right, right, go it. ahead. What were you gonna say? All right. So when you called me originally, right. you said that the reason you put a rag in your ass. Right. I got one right now. <clears throat> Why? Think, you think what? I think there's shit in it. Why do you think there's shit in it though? When did you because last I, shit? Huh? When, when was your last dump? A couple hours ago. Okay. I mean about. I should say 10 hours ago, right before I got on the Greyhound bus. All right. And you wiped? Yeah, I wiped. Okay. After you wiped, you took a napkin and inserted it in your buttocks. In my asshole. Okay. Now, you're telling me from the time that you took a dump to the time that you put the napkin in your asshole, it got full. Did you take a dump in your pants? I mean, how would there be shit No, on? I didn't shit my pants. You're just my... saying you didn't wipe so thoroughly. So I wiped thoroughly, but... Mm. The, but the did you have any wet naps or anything with you? <sighs> no, I didn't have wet naps. Because right. so. I don't understand how his ass pond is... It's dirty. Dirty. It's not an ass pond. Yeah, Come on. it's a tampon for the ass. That's what you've created. <laughs> you've invented something. I hate to tell you, man. You might be a I rich man. Did, you want to see it? There's probably shit in it. Oh, Just let me see how you walk around oh. in it. I mean, how do you hold it between your cheeks all day? <laughs> how I walk around yeah, you Pull down your pants and let me see your ass, oh. Pond. Go ahead. Let Come me see on. it. Let me see it. Let me see it. You're not that crazy, yeah. Yeah, let me see that thing. You want me to just pull it out? Yeah. No, don't pull it out. No! Just see it. Just turn around and let me no, see no, it in no, there. No, no, huh? no, no. Can you see it? Hold let me on. see. Pull down your pants. Let me see. <laughs> 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 I gotta see this thing. How you? How are you physically walking around with a, a, a napkin, napkin in your ass? In your ass. It's just. A, a napkin. Does it itch right oh, now? Geez. No. Let me see. All right now. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the ass pond. It's in there. Oh, it's in there. I see it. <laughs> Bend over. Let me see that thing. Oh, Look at that. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All right, all right. That's now enough. Now that's enough. I don't want to see you pull it out. <laughs> you got some zits on your ass, too. No shit. What's up with that? I don't fucking know. What's up with that? I don't I don't know. How old are you? 35. Wow. You're 35? You don't look your age. You look younger. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Huh. You do look younger. <laughs> hey, it, it looks like you might have a nice long life. <laughs> do you ever get laid? Do you ever get any girls? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. No Where do you kidding. find girls? He no pays. Way. He mm. pays, right? Is that no. right? Get the fuck out of here. You don't pay? No, I don't fucking pay, motherfucker. <laughs> Where do you get these girls? Huh? In the Where, bar. In the bar? Yeah. Look at you. You what got a use? line? What do you use? What, what do you do? Do you remove the ass pond before you <laughs> have sex with them, or do they see it? They go, hey, dude, there's an ass pond. Do you have to excuse yourself? <laughs> um, I don't see nothing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you, man, you're something else. I like this kid. Yeah. He's a good kid. Hey, you want to open up for me at Avery Fisher oh, Hall? Stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> Where's our Elvis? Oh, do you do stand-up at all? I, I, got, I actually got a fucking routine mm. real quick. <laughs> really? No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody can be a comedian. Here's my first joke. Go ahead. <laughs> you ever go into these old buildings and uh, you're searching for the light? You know, just a string? 
You just start searching for <laughs> yeah. I, I, I gotta funny. add more to it. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta let them open for you. It's good, to, uh, it's good to start over the premise everyone can relate to. <laughs> Do you ever go in a building and you're searching for a light? No, you go in these old buildings. And it's there. just a string. Mm. And you you're just, searching for you're it. searching for the string. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm seeing a young Emo Phillips. <laughs> well, I don't even understand the premise. I've never walked into a building and looked for a string. Is that part of your well, mental you illness? Know, at the, no. The light string. For oh, the, a, oh, a light string. Yeah, yeah. You're looking to turn on the light, yeah. and it's a string, so oh. you got to go find it. It's supposed to be funny. Yeah. And then you, you wave your arm looking for the yeah, string. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and I, then, I'm on the microphone on this part. Hmm. The, <laughs> Would handle that by I just come out and start reaching around. No, I mean I think physically what you're doing is very funny. And then right. you just say yeah, I'm in I an got old building ones. looking for I the light I got other ones up my sleeve. Too. Do some more material. I, I, I offhand I can't. Do I can't it. think of any of it. <laughs> That's your favorite. <laughs> That's uh, a, yeah. the light string. All right, so ask Napkin Ed. Do we need a little more time? The reason I asked you here was to tell you that mm. when I wipe, I wipe pretty thoroughly with um, wet naps. Okay. And then. What you're doing is, I think, is creating a hemorrhoid. The itching back there and the constant poking with your finger is creating a situation. And I feel for you because I got into that. When I was about your age, I started getting into that. What did you do? Well, what I did was, I don't wear a napkin in my ass. What I do is, I wipe three times with these wet naps, and I poke around until I don't see any brown. And I'm telling you, you will be so relieved. And it's not harsh on your ass. You can leave your ass alone. Yeah. <laughs> so if you do win some money here today, buy some of these things called wet naps. Okay. You know, wet ones, it's called. Wet ones. Very, very just soothing. Stick it up my ass? Or no, like, just wipe and then like, you that's know. That's what I was saying. And, and wipe your taint and wipe all, everything and it'll be nice and mm. fresh back there and you won't have any remnants. That's what your problem is. You well, have you remnants. Know, you got to shove it up your ass to a certain extent, but mm. then wipe. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, people good. don't. And then you just leave it alone. You just, yeah. you know, yeah. wear your underwear, no ass rag. Any other questions? Yeah, I, I think I still wouldn't use the ass rag. No, no, no that's causing you problems. No. It's hard to, you know, let loose or something, you know, like a kid <laughs> does, with a blanket. Does the ass rag ever fall out of your ass when you're oh, walking around? Yeah, yeah. That mm -hmm. was embarrassing a couple of times. What happened? <laughs> Somebody said, what the fuck is this? And they, they saw the fucking thing laying down there. And I, On the floor? Yeah. I said, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, just play dumb. You yeah. denied the ass rag. Yeah, I played dumb. I so said, like you're walking around and your ass rag falls out of your ass and oh, it goes yeah. down your pant leg. And yeah, falls yeah. onto the floor. Yeah. And then people see it on the floor and they see this shit stained yeah. rag. Yep. Yeah. That was in Boston. The fucking thing flew out in the fucking motel. And who was around? Oh, like businessmen with the fucking suit and ties and stuff. I said, <laughs> they're all just looking around like this and shit. And well, I, I don't fucking know what the fuck that shit well, is. Why were you in a high end hotel in Boston? <laughs> With businessman. What the fuck? I don't know, man. Just... What were you doing in a high-end hotel? I mean, uh... yeah. What are you doing traveling around? Right, there's no place oh, there I for you. Fucking... I, I went to Lizzie Borden House. Liz Lizzie Borden House. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're like you like to go places where people are uh, killed or something. Nah, my sister went one way to go. Is she fucked up to your sister, or nah, is she pretty normal? Nah, she's yeah. normal. Nah, but why does she want to go to Lizzie Borden house? She's trying to give you ideas. Is um, Lizzie Borden someone who killed a bunch yeah, of people? She yeah, with an axe. Right. Right. I slept right in the in the murder spot. Good, <laughs> <laughs> perfect. You're like Richard Christie. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Excellent. Well, I can see you're having fun. Yeah. Oh, so that's when you wear in the hotel. When you, wait, so these businessmen see this ass rig, do they recognize what it is? That it's like a rag, like a napkin with shit on it. No, what do you think I do? Walk around naked or something? No, no. I'm saying when they see it on the ground, the ass. Oh, napkin, do people? Start that's freaking? like my calling card or something. Right, and do you admit that it's you who left it there? <laughs> no, I never admit it. No. Never. You just like walk around yeah. and act like it's not your ass now. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> What asshole left that here? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this place is filled with losers. Yeah, you know, 
this place isn't the same uh, as it used to be. Right. Look at that nasty rag. So on the when floor. you say you drink a lot, you drink a five liter box of Diamond Lake yeah, blush wine yeah. every Diamond, other day. Diamond Lake. Let me yeah. see what the box looks like. I never knew. I don't have even. the box. I huh. I pour it. Oh, into, yeah. oh, see, he's disguising it. I right. pour it into here so I don't get busted. In a Pepsi bottle, I see. Yeah. Okay, well, no that's, cop would figure out that's booze. No. Do you think you might have a problem with alcohol? You might be an yeah, alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, you definitely do. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you say also you spend a lot of time on your computer. So mm -hmm. you're able to, oh boy, so you're able to afford a Why computer. Why don't you play a big game on there? Well, do you play checkers, right? I play checkers. I don't play checkers. I play chess. Well, you got to play me checkers, man. Eh? <laughs> I don't do anything. <laughs> you you got to play me checkers. And you haven't had sex in two years. Uh, probably, yeah. Wow. That's why not? Or why are why, you abstaining? You want to go at it? I'm uh, not, not looking for <laughs> Why, you go with guys? Bend over, man. You're into guys? Nah. Nah. You ever fuck a guy in the ass? No, come on. You beat off? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Come on. I don't Do you ever know. confuse your ass napkin and come into your ass napkin? <laughs> <laughs> but really, why haven't you had a girl in two years? I just like the same. I, I'm pansexual, probably. Yeah, well, you're pansexual. Pansexual. All right. You have been with men, then. Pansexual. What's what does that? that mean? <laughs> I just like the same myself. You like to be by yourself. Yeah. You're asexual. Pan. This is um the guy from Star Trek. What he he talked about pansexual. I, I just, well, it's hard uh, to what, date a girl with an ass. What's that guy from uh, Star Trek or Star George Takei? Yeah, Takei, yeah, 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 yeah. He's pansexual. All right, listen. Uh, ass Napkin Ed is here. He came all the way from Buffalo. I to would say imagine hello, he yeah. says he'd like to win some money. Does anybody have any kind of game or something we can play to get him some money? I mean, he really needs it. Anybody yeah, any I mean, Howard Stern yeah. Sure, I'm fucking or... broke, uh, broke a motherfucker. How do you afford Sirius Satellite Radio? It's only thirteen bucks. Right. Yeah. If and anybody you know what complains I to... yeah. about the price, look at Ass Napkin Ed. That's He's able what I'm to get. Saying. I paid thirteen bucks me. again for the because I want to see me on TV. Right. I paid it on uh, Howard TV. Time, time War. Yeah. yeah. Well, Howard that's, TV. That's one way to get people to mm. buy Howard TV and put mm. them on it. Yeah. So you got to ask well, Napkin. Put everybody on. That's right. Uh, all right. Let's um, let's uh, Gary come in here with uh, the money. Yeah, Baba Boy. And, <laughs> oh, okay. Do you have any? Get in here, you fucking fly, fly, flu, fly. Wow. <laughs> Gary, you got any games or anything? I got a bunch of games, but they're all going to be, you know. Difficult? Yeah. Um, I can win that. Yeah? Well, uh, it's fun yelling at Gary, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you like it. He's a fly, fly, flu, fly. <laughs> <laughs> fly, fly, flu, fly. Get in here with the game quickly. Hold on, hold on. I'm pulling right. a bunch. <laughs> baba, <laughs> baba, bui, baba, bui, baba, Oh, bui, can they mention somebody baba, or no? Bui. Sure. Um, baba, I want to mention... Cal, Cal Monster, who is Tony, and I want to mention. Uh, what the Man, fuck? you are really drunk. I, no, I'm not too Dude, drunk. Dude, come on, um, you're wasted. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this guy. New York Trouble, who's on. Um, All right, Peter, you're on the air in Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> hey now. Hey now. Hey, listen, this, hey, guy's, yeah, a, this guy's a poser. I've been using a Warag for 35 years. I'm your age, Howard. No kidding. You put one in your ass, too. Every day, and my friends all know it, and, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like a joke, but, you know, I'm a businessman. I do what I got to do. Started out, I'm, I was, you know, a kid playing basketball at the schoolyard. One day, I had a real bad chafing on my, on my you know, on the, on the sides of my ass. So if my ass cheeks were touching, it was burning me. So I went and I put, like, five tissues in the crack so the skin didn't touch. Because you, you got fucked too much in your butt. Hey, listen, you're a poser. <laughs> Fuck you, faggot. <laughs> yeah, you got fucked too much. <laughs> and, and, I'll, and I'll take the contest, and I'll give you one. Do it. If I, if I win the contest he's doing, I'll give the money to charity. Do it, you faggot. I win at the charity. You got fucked drunk. too much in your ass. Number one. Uh, number two, Artie, <laughs> the greatest basketball player I've ever seen was Artie when he beat that girl. All I right. Thank you very much. Like thank, you. thank you. I agree right. with that. Yeah, no, give me, so so Fuck. talk to me about the wire rig. I've been wearing it, and I'll tell you why. Yeah, and you're a fag. Listen, I'm clean as a whistle. All right, yeah. special uh, Ed, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Howard. Hey. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> oh, gee. Uh, pretty depressing today. <laughs> uh, not depressing. Uh, uh, I just want to talk about uh, Adrian. Uh, all right. I, I, I can't yeah. understand a word you're saying. Hang up on that yeah. fucking asshole. All right. Let's get a game for you real quick here and see if we can have you some get some money for Ass Napkin Ed. Uh, Ask Napkin Ed, 35 years old, lives in Buffalo on SSI. What do you got, Gary? You got a game? 
do. What do you have? What kind of game do you Come recommend? Come on, Baba Boy. It's called the Bigfoot game. All right. So we on. give Bigfoot names of celebrities mm-hmm. or famous people, and we have to guess, will he know who it is? So if you play the first one, that'll be a good example. All CD right. one. Okay. Who is Abraham Lincoln? Now, we have to guess whether he knows who that is? Yeah, if you want to play the answer, just as it... All right, to, to this get, will give you an idea of what he knows, where okay? Is, uh, what's the level All we're right. talking about? He was a president. <laughs> okay, well, he knew. <laughs> he well, was a president, it is. I right. love so, Ask Ed <laughs> laughing at Bigfoot. All right, Ask Napkin Ed, I'm going to give you... He was a president, it is. I'm going to give you five. If you get three out of five, All right. you win the $500. The $500 is courtesy of Cash for Gold. Turn your unwanted gold and jewelry into cold, hard cash. That's cash, the number four, gold.com. Or call 877-GOLD-590. Let me r- mention Rocky's Rubber Room. That kind. Oh. It's where Sim, Sim was. All right, go ahead. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now, see if you can match with Bigfoot. Who is Tom Brady? All right, do you think Bigfoot knows who Tom Brady is? He's no, up no. from that no. area. No. Uh, do no. you know who, who Tom Brady is? Tom Brady? Yeah. From the Brady Bunch? No. no. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Him. You mean Mr. Brady from oh, the Brady Tom, Bunch? Oh, from Massachusetts? Tom Brady. Who is Tom Brady? Come on. The, from Massachusetts. What's he do? Uh, governor or something? No. I don't fucking governor. know. Governor? I don't fucking know. I thought you, you were an I, NFL not, fan. Yeah, you're yeah. wearing a New York Giants jacket. Don't you I got sports? this as a gift. Oh. I don't even like sports. Oh. All right. I thought you said you were a Bills fan. What? Where I'm the a, fuck are you, Artie? I'm right here. Artie's in your head. Artie doesn't like you're really behind exist. me or something. <laughs> All right, we're wearing headphones. Okay, here we go. You say Bigfoot will not. Tom Brady no, is a no, quarterback. He He's a quarterback for the New England Patriots. Even no. I know that. I'm not. A I sport. don't fucking know. You should know that. I think Bigfoot will know. All right, um, let's find out. We we're hoping he doesn't know, so that ass napkin Ed will win five hundred dollars from right. Cash for Gold. Here we go. From Brady Bunch. Oh, oh he's just God. like you. No, See, he got it. He right, got so it. You're on the board. <laughs> you match That's the a match. <laughs> All right. You get one right. All you need is two more, and you're on your way to five hundred dollars. Here we go. <laughs> who was Adolf Hitler? All right. Do you know who Adolf Hitler was? Yeah. Who is he? The German. Uh, the, the, the thing. The, the German dude. No, from the what Hitler did he bunch. Do? What, what did he do? Killed all the Jews. Okay. All right. So you know who Hitler is. Yeah. Now, does Bigfoot know who Hitler is? I'd say he, he knows. All right. You say Bigfoot knows. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good guess. Here we go. Ask Napkin Ed looking for $500. <laughs> um, a Nazi. Very ah. good. I'm going to give that to you. You seem to know what you're this guy thinks. You're on his wavelength, I think. Well, now you're in good shape. You have three more questions, and you only have to get one more right. And then you get the $500 from cash4gold.com. Good for you. Com. When's the last time someone said, you're in good shape? <laughs> <laughs> how, how long ago was that, ass napkin? At when I saw my doctor. What? When I saw my doctor. And you saw your doctor. All right. Well, he should be fired. Here we go. <laughs> ass napkin, Ed, one more right, and you are on... The list for five hundred dollars. Here we go. Who is Alec Baldwin? All right. Do you know who Alec Baldwin is? He's an actor. That is correct. Now, will Bigfoot know who Alec Baldwin yeah. is? Yeah. You say yes. All right. Let's see how you do. I'm a little nervous about this one. I think he might be wrong, but he might be right. Yeah. I don't see. know. Hmm? All right. Well, you probably figure if you know it, he knows it. Here we go. I don't have the foggiest idea. Oh, you uh, cocksucker. Uh, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> well, you got two more chances. You're lucky. Because you got the first two right, you still have two more chances, as Robin points out, okay? So don't uh, curse him out yet. All right, let's see how you do on the next one. I would have said he wouldn't know Alec Baldwin. I thought he might. You know, he might have seen one of Alex's movies and been a Where? big fan. <laughs> Where? Where would he see In a, a movie? theater. <laughs> All right, here we go. Who is Arnold Schwarzenegger? All right, do you know who Arnold Schwarzenegger is? The governor of California. Right, he also was an actor. I don't know if you know right. that. Yeah. All right, now, will Bigfoot know who Arnold Schwarzenegger is, as Richard <laughs> yeah, says? I'll say yeah, that. he's got to know that, right? He'll say a Nazi. <laughs> is that an acceptable answer? Some people answer? have said he yeah. would be correct. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right, uh, so you say he knows. Yeah. All right, I, I agree with you. I think he's going to know who Arnold Schwarzenegger is. Everybody knows. Uh, wrestler. Oh, oh, wrestling. God. oh, you fucking retarded motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking retard. What wow. the fuck? Well, now you're getting the gist of the game. Jesus here. Christ. Can you believe what a retard that guy is? Jesus fucking Christ. It's a tough game, isn't it? 
It started out easy, yeah. didn't it? He's, what is he doing? He's, he's in the woods or something? He's, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck is he doing? <laughs> well, you got to be careful. This is he's, your last he's chance. He's running around the fucking woods? Yeah, he's in the woods. What is he doing? And what is he doing in the woods? He's what do not I know? Reading the I mean, what the fuck is he doing? I mean, read a paper, right? You're, you're, I actu- heard of- you're actually higher on society scale than he is. Yeah. <laughs> Should, this should actually be making you feel good in a way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Listen, let me tell you where you're at so far. Mm. It's, of course, best. Uh, the, the three out of five, I gave you the, the, uh, the All chance. All right. I got to get you this got, one right. Yeah. yeah. Now you're in a must win situation. Yeah, this is a little oh, bit of pressure. Fuck. I thought you had this locked I'm broke, down. man. I, I hear you. Uh, you had two right, you got two wrong. So this is it. It all rides on this. Thank I don't God got you got the money in my pocket. Go ahead. Yeah, you don't have the money in your pocket yet. Don't no, I mean, I, I do have money in my pocket, yeah, but, but it's like $20. 20 all right. We're talking about $500 all here right, from cash4gold.com. Now, listen Cash carefully. Cash4gold.com. Okay. Right. Who's Artie Lang? Uh, <laughs> well, come on. He's got to oh, know. He's right. not going to know this. No you way. think he does? No, he he's not going to know this. No way he remembers it. Well, ask Napkinette, who is Artie Lang? Do you know? It, I, he knows, yeah. You say he knows. Do you know? Artie, Artie Lang is right there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what if he says from the Norm show? Right, does motherfucker. That he's your quarterback. <laughs> right, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. I'm that's here. you, bitch. I, that's me. <laughs> I doubt Bigfoot remembers me, though. Don't make fun of Artie. Artie, already, I met you a few upset. years ago. You don't I, remember. I me. said to you. I said it's at a signing in Buffalo. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm Stephanie. saying he knows. Robin says he won't know. I'm saying he won't know. You mean he knows Artie, but he doesn't know Artie Lang. He doesn't know anybody but you on this show. Why would uh, he know my last name? Yeah, it's like, All right, Ed, to... here it is. All the money rides on this. You're locked in. You say Bigfoot knows who he Artie knows. Lang is. Let's go. Mm. Let's listen in. Artie Lang is is uh, somebody who plays on the Howard Stern. Oh, oh. Wow. Wow. Well, there you go. <laughs> you did it. By you curating got- a sword. Wow. You got five hundred dollars. Courtesy, you, sir. You um, pulled it out. You pulled it out. I pulled yeah. it right out. Not your ass napkin, though. <laughs> Don't pull that out. I know we're going to find that fucker on the floor. <laughs> You've won five hundred dollars, courtesy of Cash for Gold. Turn your unwanted gold. And jewelry into mm. cold hard cash. That's mm. cash the number four gold dot com. Or call eight seven seven gold five nine zero. You know, when Ed's ass napkin falls out here, I wonder who's gonna blame it on. <laughs> I know. Probably Benji? Fred. Fred. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> yeah. Howard, did I do all my plugs or no? Uh I thought you did fine today. If you have a plug you want to give, oh, okay. go ahead. Um, Real quick. On YouTube, my name is Elephant Drunk. Okay. <laughs> Elephant drunk. You're drunk. Old. Not drunk. 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 And what is there a video of you on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Elephant drunk. What do you drunk. do in your video? Uh, uh, you, you'll see. And, no, um, really. What do you do on the video? Robin asked a legitimate I'm question. I'm doing karaoke. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> are you a karaoke singer? I like What's your favorite song? I'll let you do it. It's, um... All Part- drunks love karaoke. Part- I know. Part-time lover. Part-time lover? <laughs> Part-time lover. That's a kind of faggy song, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, that's a little bit gay, my friend. Look at me, part-time lover. You got that, Fred? Part-time lover. I'm, I'm looking to see if we have anything like that. <laughs> part-time. I know, maybe the she guy's not, got it Stevie back Wonder. There. Is Stevie Wonder? Yeah. And I wanted to mention... Um, Does he have another choice in case we can't find What other that? song do you like? What other song? Karaoke-wise. Yeah. Uh, what other one? Give me, give, give me one. Uh, I already had... Because I like the same kind of music you like. Uh, you like ACDC? I've never yeah, heard yeah, of Part-time yeah. lover. Part time lover. <laughs> I like Michael Jackson. You like Michael Jackson? Oh, Michael Jackson. What song you like of Michael Jackson for karaoke? Uh, beat it. Hey, beat it. Beat it. We must have beat it, Fred. Hey, um, Howard. Yeah. We will say that he watched both of his videos, and one of them, this is his karaoke. One of them, he dances, doesn't sing, and the other one, he eats a pizza, doesn't sing. Oh, I got to no, see that. He doesn't sing? <laughs> oh, that, yeah. Can you we dance? get that up? <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll move on. Uh, any other plugs that you want to give? Um, Rocky's Robber Room. That's okay. where Sim, Sim who came in for Robin. Yeah, right, He's right, on right. there, Rocky's yeah. Rubber Room. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a creepy room. I'll stay out of that room. You and the Sim are in there? <laughs> yeah. All right, that's good. All right, listen, Ask Napkin Ed all the way from Buffalo. Thanks for coming in today. You won five. Can I come in again? Sure. Oh, we'd, love to, we'd love to check in with you again. You and Sim, and, uh, anyone else in the room with insanely pale white skin that looks <laughs> creepy? All right, take care, Ask Napkin Ed. Thank you. All right. And there he goes with Will. He won $500. Yeah. Ask Napkin Ed's got the Ask Napkin, and he's putting on his 
New York Giants jacket, and he's being escorted out of the building. Say hi to Martha Stewart on your way out. Her studio's right. Oh, right my down goodness. The hall. He's going to lose his pants. He forgot to. Oh, yeah. Pull up your zip pants. Up. <laughs> you see that was a napkin? Oh. 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 <laughs> All right, Ed. Good luck back in Buffalo. Call us sometime. Ed, we love you. <laughs> Stay warm up there in Buffalo this winter, buddy. It's snowing up there. I Be know. Be of course it is. Sounds like a great place to drink. <laughs> hey. Hey, man. What's up? How was that for you, man? Oh, I was all right. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Gee, all right, yeah. You're, you're, you're feeling it a little bit. You're, huh? You just won $500. Okay, that's right cool. Now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty psyched about that? Yeah, yeah. How you doing? I'm doing all right. What What do you think about Howard's advice? He tried to say that you should probably switch it up to the, uh, you know, the baby wipes. Nah, nah. Are you cons- you're not concerned about hemorrhoids? Nah, nah. Not at all? Nah. But you seem nah. like such a big fan of Howard's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna fucking switch nothing up. But you're not gonna listen to his advice? Nah. You're not that nah. big of a fan? Nope, 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 nope. So what's your philosophy? It's not broke, what's so don't fix it. What's your philosophy? It's not broke, so don't fix it? Our philosophy is, um, if I'm gonna shit my pants, I'm gonna fucking shit my pants. I don't give a fuck. Right. I, if I'm gonna shit my pants, I'm gonna fucking shit my pants. Cool, I don't give a fuck. You don't care? Nah, nah. I don't give a fuck if I'm, I'm not switching nothing up.